this video, we're going to recall what committed capital means in private equity. And then we're going to go through three issues with committed capital. What to do with uncalled capital, issues with IRR, and issues with fees. So let's recall what committed capital means in private equity. When an investor commits to a private equity fund, not all of the capital is invested up front. In fact, usually it's about 20 to 30% of the capital is invested in the private equity fund, while the remaining amount is uncalled. And that uncalled capital will eventually be invested in the private equity fund when the private equity fund finds deals and needs the capital. And at that time, the private equity fund is going to make a capital call. So let's go over the three issues with committed capital. Number one, what does the investor do with the capital that has been committed but not yet called? I was working with a family office in Switzerland that had this specific issue. The family office had more than 50% of their capital not called in a commitment that they had to a private equity fund in Swiss francs. A big issue there was that the family office did not want to take the money outside of Switzerland and invest it in euros, in US dollars, or another currency. Because if they received a capital call from the private equity fund, they need to convert it back into Swiss francs. Looking around for liquid investments in Swiss francs, the family didn't feel comfortable with any of those investments. So the family ended up keeping the capital in the bank, waiting for the capital call. The problem with that was that in Switzerland, interest rates were negative. And so the family was losing money on the uncalled capital that was sitting in the bank while the rest of the money was with the private equity firm. This brings us to the second issue, which is calculation of IRR. The IRR is calculated in a private equity fund starting when the private equity fund receives the capital from the investor and ending when the private equity fund gives the money back to the investor. But the calculation of IRR does not include what the investor does with the capital before the capital is called. In this case, with the Swiss family office, to keep the money liquid and available for the private equity fund, the Swiss family office had to keep its capital in the bank and was losing money on this capital. And so when the Swiss family office looks at the performance of the entire capital, well, the blended rate's gonna be a lot less than IRR. The third issue is fees. Private equity funds charge performance fees based on invested capital, where the IRR is calculated. But many private equity funds charge management fees on committed capital. In other words, while the Swiss family office held capital in the bank, that capital had to pay 2% management fees to the private equity fund. In 2019, at the Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting, Warren Buffett pointed out this exact issue with private equity funds, and he didn't put it in such a favorable light. Let's recap. We talked about committed capital for private equity. And then we talked about three main issues with committed capital. What to do with the uncalled capital, issues with IRR, and issues with fees. If you like this video on committed capital and have any ideas on private equity related topics for future videos, please comment down below.